Hello people. So, I actually made a part 3 for this game. Uh, but at the same time I was building a new PC and lo and behold I forgot to copy over part 3 that I already made uh, along with the other files. So here I am narrating previously recorded content. So, but yeah, I made a part 3 because I wanted to give the game a second chance. And what did I learn from doing that? Well, unfortunately, I just have to reiterate, in short, my initial feelings and statement that this game is not ready for release or not ready to be played. Um, there are simply too many small quirks. And of course, I can't show you now, but in part three, I was uh, logging in again. And, you know, things like items missing after having logged out. Uh, the chest I had made was gone, the one was on the, the raft, along with the contents. Um, I was trying to put things together to, to make uh, some useful items we could use to build a bigger boat. Uh, and it just took so long because then the, uh, the, the clay furnace it didn't state how it was supposed to be used, and it just kept, uh, you know, going, but for no, with no apparent goal. I didn't know what to put it in, and so on. Uh, yeah, and the fireplace or the the bonfire I put down, I tried to roast some meat on it, and it just disappeared into thin air. Uh, so yeah, all those little quirks, along with the, just the, the basics of the game, that the inventory slots are too few. You know, eight or ten slots is not enough. It just isn't, especially when a game it's a game where you need to spend so much time getting stuff. You'll be putting stuff in in crates all the time, and getting stuff out of crates again, simply to fit what you need. Uh, so yeah, in short, would I buy this game? No, I definitely would not. Sorry, this is not a good game yet. It it has potential, but it it has. Just too many small things that need to be fixed before it's really playable. So yeah, uh, this is just me being honest. And I think that's important because I think we as YouTubers or streamers sometimes tend to be a little too friendly because we want to stay on good terms with the games. Uh, I think that's bullshit. Sorry. I think it's important to be honest. Uh, so yeah. Um... But sorry to burst your bubble if you had your high hopes for this game. My suggestion is the same. Come back in one or two um, updates, maybe three, depending on how well they do it, and see how the game is. I'm not going to be playing it anymore, so this is my last video about the game. Uh, because it's just not ready. So yeah, and it's not fun. I think there's, there are better games out there in this genre. Uh, so I would, you know, if we haven't tried Stranded Deep, I'd go that way instead. Uh, I would definitely try um, The Front. It's a great game, in my opinion. Uh, there's also, unfortunately, it's still in, in closed beta, and I'm participating in the closed beta, but a game called Mystery Mask, The Immortal Soul, uh, also has potential. So yeah, I think there are, there are great opportunities out there if you want to play this this type of genre. So go get them, okay? And uh, yeah, you have a nice day anyways. Okay, see you next time. Bye.